hello guys welcome back and today we are going to share with you how we continue with the bathroom remodel so the boys are putting to bed together the vanity <laughs> and as you can see everybody got busy I was doing some laundry and Joat was working in the bathroom and he was just preparing everything for to do the floor and do the walls I always get questions about this floor and this is a vinyl floor we use this in our previous home what we remodeled completely and so this is the same material it's just in a different color and we love the flexibility that it can give us like we had situation where we take out wall after we moved in so we were able to patch up with this floor because it's very easy to patch up things and we were able to replace the doors to a bigger one and it was no problem to fix the floor with that it's much easier than with anything else but because the bottom of the vent is rusty there's some rust. rust well there's a i mean there's no loose debris in there yeah, but we still have to clean it though. I mean, yeah, yeah, who knows when was this cleaned? And well, I vac vacuumed it a few times over uh -huh. here. Yeah, but we need the, a full. But it could Ooh, be dust. Oh, the lights. Wow. That could be dust city. That looks really nice, especially with that red backsplash. Lovely. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me adjust this thing because you are way taller. Well, I can. Oh, wow. Okay. I stick to the floor. Okay, okay. I'm getting there. Are you still with me? Okay, okay, there you go. So what I'm gonna do the walls? Yeah. As soon as the floor is done. Okay, when the floor is gonna be done? Uh, when I put the last piece down over there. So when will be, oh, that, that will be today? That's the plan. Ooh, I'm excited. So we'll finish the floor today. Mm -hmm. And then we can do the walls. We, we don't have the material all right for the wall yet. I still have to get it. What? <laughs> Don't confuse me. <laughs> um, anyway, it's, it's still far away, you know. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's in the far, far part of the garage, you know. Absolutely. So that's a lot of stuff. I have to, I have to find it. So, um, do you wanna put up shafts or do you want me to use that sticky tape? Sticky tape is gonna be fine, Alice. Yeah, this <laughs> oh, is, on this one. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, I was Stick just joking. No, sticky tape made for surfaces like this. Yeah. <laughs> so the sticky tape is exactly made for stuff that we're gonna be putting on the wall. When, when can you put up the light? I'm so excited to see When the wall is done. Oh, okay. So Joad already put some pieces down on the floor and that's why we love this floor. So we can go with our own speed and, oh, am I standing on that? <laughs> Actually with the door, right? It was a much smaller door. Oh, well, this door is yeah, two inches bigger. Yeah. It was smaller. Did you notice any difference as you step in? Is it better? On those doors, I always feel like I have to walk sideways. I know I can't put through the laundry door, well, laundry door, <laughs> the laundry basket either. I have to go sideways and not even that will do it.
to start to do the wall now? Yeah, now we can go on and start to tile the walls. We? Oui. So we have done this before and I'm pretty sure most of you haven't seen that because it's back in our old videos. So we are going to install a floor on the wall. On the wall! <laughs> <laughs> So as you see, it's it's pretty nice to work with that material and the outcome is very nice. And what kind of glue did you use? Over there I used a different water-based glue because there was no water. Uh, no water nearby. Yeah. So it was only a backsplash, but over here I'm using, especially on the on the waterproof surface, I'm using a polyurethane glue that's gonna dry no matter what. So it requires uh, and make sure it seals to the wall so no yeah. water can go behind the wall so so that's the only difference but it's the same we're putting it the same way I think it looks really nice and soon as we moved in I had I planned this to do this in the other bathroom but we were thinking since this bathroom it's um, on the smaller scale if we have the same thing in the shower wall it will along the space so as your eyes is gonna go all the Ex way yeah, it's the gonna end. extend it much more so it seems it's even bigger than it is realistically and yeah. I think it's gonna look like a spa it's it's really giving that spa vibe <laughs> Ooh, I should buy some fountain you know those little water pots those itty bitty ones <laughs> who's, who's gonna knock it off oh yeah yeah We just really love the look of this material but also we were able to save so much on our budget because it is way less cheaper than any kind of tile that you can buy out there so we were very happy with the outcome how it looked and with the cost as well. The other reason why we love this material because it's very easy to clean it's uh, I use my steam mop on it I'm not sure if it's recommended though <laughs> but I still do <laughs> and especially in the kitchen and the cleaning is very very easy When we first used this material as a backsplash in the kitchen in our uh, previous home, I just really loved that it gave some texture to the wall and added some color, but it wasn't as busy as the tile would look like. I mean, tiles are beautiful too, but I just like it when it's less busy.
No su vakam ki. This hole is supposed to be here. Oh. So I measured it from here to here instead of <laughs> I should have measured it from here to here. So who should be right there? Okay, so all the walls are done. So we opted to leave this one white and then this will be the, the area where we filled out with this floor material. But we wanna keep this one um, just a different color because it would be too overwhelming and too overpowering with this lots of pattern. So that's enough that we have this on the floor and on three walls. And then over here we're going to create something where we can put uh, little hooks for the towel and oh there you are Joel is here with the light so he actually went back to Ikea and he picked out the one that I was mentioning picked one, yeah. you picked up the one that I yeah, yeah. mentioned earlier this little black light so we have to decide on like how how much it should go down. Oh wait, but then we need to know where the mirror going. So you can actually adjust it later on? Yeah, it looks like, yeah. This oh, is okay, a, so then you don't need me then. It's a, it's an IKEA uh, magic light. <laughs> magic light. All you gotta do is leave all the cords in there, all the 25 feet, <laughs> 25. although we only gonna need three feet. Yeah, because and usually then, they hang it from really tall, but we're going yeah, to use this on the small space. Comes with this huge bell over here. That's, yeah, it's gonna look that, like that's, one. <laughs> that's gonna hold. Yeah, that's gonna hold. It looks like another light almost. It's gonna hold all the wires. Well, I'm not. We're not gonna need that much wire, so I'm gonna cut it somewhere here. Taking a bath? Yeah, I'm so dirty. And what are you going to use? I'm so dirty, I'm going to goof off. <laughs> <myself>. Goof off. <laughs> Looking good, it's very shiny. Actually, it's not, not too bad. It's a little bit narrow for me, but. Really spacious. Uh, this is my suggestion. We should leave out the toilet so the boys can just squat. It's not gonna go well. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, so this would be it for today and the next one we're going to have the mirror and we're going to do on the side the hooks and shafts. So on the fun part it's coming. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys soon. Bye bye. Bye.